First, let me assume, correctly or incorrectly, that the readers of these writings will fall into one of three categories. One of these groups will be composed of non-cannabis users, which I hope will be the most benefited by these writings. The second group will be those who have complete understanding of my first few sentences as it relates to our relationship with the herb. Rather than a wisdom to be gained, this is more a path to be followed, alteration but not addition. The last group, which consists of everyone else, will be those who ultimately decide on the future of society's relationship with the goddess. They are blessed and cursed by having the attention of the other two groups as each year passes and as culture and politics shift, the ongoing momentum of the beloved mother will be decided by the actions of these individuals. Those in the other two groups say to them, Choose wisely. However, just as our relationship with the goddess is affected by differences in terminology, so too is the transmission of this advice. As a result, their one mandate is found to have two forms. One form is the hope that their decisions regarding cannabis use will have minimal collateral damage to themselves and their community. The second form of this challenge is a hydra of method and manner. As the cell division of society occurs ever more frequently, terms not only shift, they alter completely from whatever original source they may or may not have had.